Matt, welcome back to the shop. And a few people have asked me, Matt, could you do a video on some of the tool tool reviews, kind of me? All right. So I'll just give you an update on stuff that I use that I found extremely good and stuff. For a lot of people, this will be a lot of old stuff. Um, I have a load of other tools, but I'm not at the point where I recommend using them. And all that means is that they uh, haven't stood out. So it's not that I use them, they work, therefore I will. For instance, right, Gorilla Glue, Super Glue. It does the job, it doesn't do a particularly brilliant job compared to other products. So I'm not going to recommend it. That was literally just something at hand that I use, etc, etc. So we'll just kick off. So one of them is uh, Vice Grips. So Vice Grips are owned by Irwin these days. I'll bring another one. Oh, I did. I brought the daddy one. So these are welding clamps. Um, oops. Get that out of shot. So these are welding clamps. These are the original. The original Vice Grip. And it says Vice Grip with the two hands. Holding hands for some reason. And then it crudely has Irwin stamped in there. These are welding clamps. There's a big one. Bang. There's a small d diddy one. This is a six. What's that say? Six. That says 11, I think. Um, the radius on the tips, I think that's all that is. Just, you know, any kind of this kind of, you know, mole grip. With jaws, without jaws, the flat. I've got some flat panel ones that squeeze panels together. All that kind of jazz. Um, but the vice grips, they're not as good as they used to be. What is? But these are still quite good, uh, and they don't really cost. They cost you a bit more. Do not get get the ones like this. Don't get the ones with the plastic crap all over them. The crap. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, these are bloody mucky. So uh, I've got loads of Nipex stuff. I just thought I'd bring out. When I'm going to recommend something, I just thought I'd bring out something that's a bit different. You know what I mean? Not your usual. I could just get the Cobras and the Alligators and all the parallel grips. I've done them before. So, these for side cutters. Now, there are guys who do modelling. You know, like modelling. They use side cutters. And they get these side cutters from Tamiya or whoever. And they charge them 60 to 80 to 100 quid. It's a joke. These are off Amazon. These are just Nipex jobbies. These are 78, 61, 125s. These are just the same, right? And I have, oh, uh, yeah, I've got I, I've got a pair that are expensive side cutters for the modeling, the no better. So don't waste your money. Uh, these are some circlip pliers, big ones. These are big daddios, them ones. And then these are some uh, blades for cutting. Um, uh, silicon tubing and stuff, so, you know, three things that aren't your norm, they're probably your norm, but you get what I mean, these are huge and these are weird oddballs. Uh, so that's them. So Nipex stuff, it's not specifically them models, it's specifically Nipex full stock. Nipex for the price is fantastic. Next one we'll get onto is uh, Vessel stuff, if you want any GIS screwdrivers, these are the ones to go with. They're the nuts, they're the nuts and they're the nuts, there's a bigger one. Here's a smaller one. The handles have held up pretty well. Uh, some screwdriver handles are absolutely naff. These are, yeah, pretty good. It says non-slip. Uh, the knurl's good though, I like the knurling. Uh, I just wish it had a hex block at the top, that'd make them better. Uh, for standard screwdrivers, I've got some Facum, because Facum, uh, these are pretty good. Uh, they're extremely, they don't feel like they're gonna whatever, the heads, are fantastic and the rest of it yeah there's a, a flat blade this one gets quite a bit of abuse it's used quite a lot and um, again it all stands up fine and it's it's good 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 stuff so Facum stuff them ones specifically um, the ones that look like that are good uh, torque wrenches so this is my uh, Norbar torque wrench. I like I say, you might have seen a lot of these things before, but I'm just, it's more for the people who haven't. But um, yeah, this 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 is this is good. And what we're going to do soon 
it goes from 10 to 50 newton meters this is the diddy one this is the, this is the tti 50 if you can just make out the 50 um this one is uh we're actually i've got the torque tester so we're actually going to test this i've had this maybe oh i don't know four years five no five 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 years now so um we're going to get the torque tester out and test it, see what it actually says. So that'll be quite cool. So that's torque wrenches. I haven't spoke about these things enough. So <laughs> these are the uh, 1412s. As you can see, they've, they've, they're have used. It's in, they're in a used condition. Whatever that was, that a bit of cornflakes. Um, in a used condition, but you keep them greased up and they'll be absolutely fine. Uh, these... If these can't get it off, then you're getting into, you know, blow torch, flame, and flame, oxycetylene. You know, you, you've 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 come to the end of your um, your wits, and you know, you're going to get destructive if they can't get it off. Uh, and then the one I'm going to finish. Oh no, I'm not going to finish on that actually. Another one is this. So this is the only Dewalt grinder I've ever had. So this is a DWE4206 so 110 watt uh, uh, 1010 watts um this thing uh I've been I'm I'm going to do a real real review on it one of these days I've been beating on this summit awesome just to see what it can take right no you know just don't care just don't care about it just going for it and then once every year I'm going to take out the screws stick some grease in it and then just crack on but the button the button is one of the best buttons that i think i've ever used the dewalt uh, not the dewalt one the bosch one makes me want to cry so <laughs> that's that we'll finish on my favorite in a minute the one i can't stop going on about um but before we do that I've also got some, uh, these are Teng, Teng tool, long reach jobbies, uh, these are great, I don't think I've used the biggest ones, but yeah, these these are quite good, so I've, I'm having good fun with them, uh, they don't feel like they're getting, because some of these fasteners, you know, special ones that hold like cr around the crank area, stuff like that, if they've got big hexes in, they don't want to budge and they seem to just be fine with it, so... I've got these bad boys and I want to finish on these because these are one of my favourite tools of all time. Um, but I also, I got some more. I've got loads of sets of these, loads of sets of these, right? Um, and there, I, I didn't want to bring the whole set, oh, I could have brought the whole set of it. It's just the stack of tools here was getting really big and I didn't want to have all these tools clattering around and falling over so I just brought one of these to, to come with the kit and I've got loads of them. I think I've got five sets of these. Anyway, I'll put them to one side. Um, there was a complaint saying that the sleeve comes out, so like that. This is the first time this has actually happened to me. He said it lasted a couple of weeks. I don't know what he's doing with them. But yes, this is the first one to do this to me. What the hell is that glued onto the bottom of there? This is, yeah, this is the first one. This is the first one to do this to me. Um, might just melt it on or something. But yeah. Or just clean off the outsides because this has got loads, and you can see, loads of striations. As you twang in and stuff like that, you hit edges. You know what I mean? You hit the edge of a case or a bolt head or something like that. And it gets to them. And if you look, the five is actually the one with some of the. Oh, what's the bloody hell is that? Some of the. I think these are the ones that are in the bottom of the toolbox. Um, the number five is the one that's got the worst amount of damage or use. You know, that one's had a bit of twanging as well. But. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the Gay Pride. LGBTQF, whatever it is, I don't know, ZZR, 1300. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this, these are the nuts. I've also got these, but I don't use these nowhere near as much. As you can see, the bloody dust on them. 
these are the basically the same thing but just the torques ones the security torques until they get down to a nine because you can't put an all in that or you can't have a post in that that would work uh, these like I, said, I don't use them as much and I wish they did big these in big they might do but I haven't seen them so I wish they did torques in big ones but yeah that's basically it really um, I have just just literally let's see what I've got in reach I've got some spanners here I don't know what for there's a facum there's a tang and this is a I think this is a Sealy one I think this ring span, jobby spanner that's that like Pre premier is a Sealy brand that's a facum because facum that's a tang one I've got some blue tack I literally it's just what's next to me uh, I don't know why these are here actually I've got some gear ratchets but I don't like this it's good the only use I can see for this is when you've got really long studding because it goes all the way through so you can go all the way through come out the other side so you can get really long studding apart from that uh, I don't really see the use for that so we'll get rid of that um, and then just on my bench look a backhoe set is this the one with a funny catch there's one with a funny catch no but this one's it's been used a bit but nothing crazy um, because I've got loads of these every time I see one I end up bloody bad there's a massive one over there and a big one but uh, yeah these are just the, the, the things in reach um, there's nothing much else in reach without me moving yeah but you get what I mean so those are the things that I will absolutely stand by not the backhoe not the gear rat rat ratchet not that all things up to the Allen keys are the things that I will stand by and say I've been using these and I'm really really impressed usually based what I'm impressed how am I how I am impressed is basically the price versus what the tool actually does and how it survives and how it behaves and how it works and you know what I mean so that's what I'm the scale is, you know, because there's always some smart ass in the comments who goes, oh, 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 You got that DeWalt grinder, why didn't you go and get the Godot? Not the Godot, fucking hell, what's that about? Why don't you go and get the Metapo, like, thousand pound grinder? It's like, but look at thousand pounds, you tard. That's why, because that grinder cost me 80 quid. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's always that. It's There's, there's probably always a better tool, Astel. Um, there's always a better tool. It's how smarmy you want to get about. The, it's the price that matters to me. You know what I mean? Because you've got to buy this stuff, you know. And, and and you want it to work last. All of these tools last. It's just how well they last and do the job still after an X amount of use. It's like these bike reviews when someone guy goes and gets on a bike, rides around for five seconds and goes, I'm going to now tell you about this bike. It's like, dude, you don't even... What, what do you know about this bike? Shut up. The reviews should be left to the people who own them for a long time, you know, instead of a one-stop shop fool, you know what I mean? And a lot of people say, yeah, but you can compare them against other bikes, but it's like, he's had it for five minutes. No, he can't. That's nonsense. Like, we've all seen TMF in his stupid reviews. What do you think that man can tell you about uh, Panagali? What do you think he can actually tell you? Because he rode it for four minutes and then sold it. It's just like, what can he tell you? Bugger all. Hope that makes sense. I'm doing this left-handed, and I'll see you in a bit. Where is it? It's it, it, there. There.